Burnout is not simply exhaustion. We know about exhaustion, there's a lot of research on stress responses and we know what happens. So there's already answers there. Um, and you know, a lot of the, the programs that are developed to help people as to how to cope with stress. Um, so that's, that's fine, but it's missing what's going on to, to suck your passion away, to you know, really change it into not something that you know, you're really feeling good about. Um, it's not a psychological disease, and I think it, it's been medicalized in some ways, if I can use that phrase, to uh, treat it as an official disease. Also means that people think about it in a very bimodal either or. Uh, there has to be a way in which you can clearly diagnose it. There's a thing that sort of says yes, no, and you know, it's not that kind of phenomenon. It's, it's an experience that people have. It's a, there's a kind of a a syndrome quality to it in, in terms of different things, you know, and the exhaustion, the cynicism, this all can develop. To frame it as a, a medical disease rather than a social epidemic, which a public health approach as opposed to a medical approach might have. You know, in other words, if everybody is coming to see the doctor and they've got a flu and you kind of treat each one one by one by one, but if you see lots and lots of people have the flu or lots of people are coming down with this other illness, it's like, What's going on out there that suddenly everybody is catching this or you know, having these problems? So it focuses you that if you take that model, a more public health epidemic you know, kind of thing, then you're looking at what are the other things that are happening that so many people are beginning to have this problem. And I think we need to bring in that perspective so that we're looking more broadly than what is wrong with the people. How do we prop those people up? How do we strengthen them? How do we make them healthy?